Uh, hi everyone. Uh, I'm here uh, working on the uh, dev environment of Go Charting 4.0. So uh, this is a new feature we are going to release in a couple of weeks. So I wanted to give you guys a heads up. This is probably the first time I'm doing a voice with a video. So uh, just bear with me. Uh, so what you see here in the left is the DOM, the depth of market chart. This is the one that we kind of revamped in the last couple of weeks. Uh, what we see here when we talk about a DOM is basically your order book. It's, it's a visualization tool for your order book where you kind of get a sense of the bids and the asks that flow into the book and the way they kind of move across the price levels. So this is the, probably the most common view. So the overlay is here in this books tab and in the second tab, that's your price ladder. This is what we call as the DOM or the price ladder. So the basic functionalities are, so you have, this is the basic view where you have the bids on the left-hand side in blue. And, and this is all of, all of these colors are configurable. So we'll show you that. So these little bars in the dark blue, these are kind of give you a sense of uh, the order of magnitude of the cumulative orders that are currently uh, pending in this price range 10365 in this case. So what we are saying is 10366 price range, you got 15.27 orders pending, paid orders, buy orders pending. These are all limit orders, uh, limit orders pending in our Coinbase BTC USD. Uh, on the right hand side, these are all the asks. And again, we go by the same definition, these inner bars kind of are reflective of the order of magnitude of the volume. These are your prices. And to the right, this is your typical volume profile. So you can go down here and you can go up with these functionalities. And here you can see the POC colored in, in kind of purplish color. I don't know what color it is, but it, this, this is what it is. So. This is the basic feature of a DOM. Now you can use these buttons to scroll up or scroll down and this one to center it. And then you have these lower and higher precision buttons which kind of help you change this grouping. So right now the grouping is one. That means every price level has a difference of a dollar. Now if I kind of make it 2.5, now it has a difference of 2.5. I'm going to try and see if I can make it 5 to make it more visible. So you have 10380 and the next level is 10385. So there's a difference of $5. So these are the toggle buttons that kind of help you kind of control your DOM. <clears throat> now this is interesting. This is a new part that we have done. So these are all the colors that you can use to change all of this. And this is the default colors. I kind of like the default colors, but we start with the standard view. So the standard view just gives you the bid, price, and the ask, and no VPR, no volume profile. The compact view gives you the volume profile, and this is where things got, start getting a little more interesting because volume profile is great because you get to see a sense of how the trades that are getting filled, uh, shipping up, stacking across this price level against the against the pending orders. But what is more interesting is, uh, so we'll go to the full VPR. There's the third view. I think these these kind of views in the DOM chart is only available in native desktop applications and we're trying to get it on the browser. So here you kind of see two more columns added to it. So there is this buy and the sell. This is basically uh, from the time the session started, the browser session started, it kind of records the number of trades, live trades uh, <clears throat> uh, in the on the buy side and on the sell side. So it gives you a sense of, for example, right, if you have say one one point one nine orders, right, over a period in time, you will see these orders go down, right, unless somebody places a new order, which they have right now. So it became 2.63. But out of this big lot, you will see certain percentage of it getting filled here right, and, and the remaining getting canceled. That's how basically the orders are going to flow. And uh, so, so that this kind of gives you, these additional columns kind of gives you a very good sense of uh, how the order is really flowing through the price level. Uh, great for scalpers, I believe. Uh, 
uh, there are many people who kind of like to trade off the DOM. So these are additional views. So, so we go to the next view. This is called the full OB snapshot. So what it does is basically you replace the VPR uh, with something called as the order book snapshot. So basically at the time you open the session, we take a snapshot of the order book and kind of we kind of keep adding all the new orders that have flown in uh, from that time and kind of gives you a sense for example in this level 10388 so 12 uh, 12.11 is the current number of orders pending on the sell side and that's what it is in the snapshot but for some other level let me check for example say 10380 so when we started right we were somewhere around say 16 or 18 right uh, and now we are at 24 so over a period in time right new orders have flown in and some of them have moved to uh, actual trades and some of them have really got cancelled that's probably what it is so it kind of gives you a better view of the snapshot uh, a cumulative snapshot from the time you know uh, the session started and the last is basically the PNL view we all know about it so we kind of give you the PNL across this price level. So these are the, some additional features we have added to the DOM. I think now the DOM looks really nice. At least I like it. I uh, hope you like it too. Thank you guys.